today I'm taking an S-Wing hatchet and replacing the nylon sheet that comes with it with a leather one and we're just gonna try to make a pretty nice one and uh, I've made two sheaths actually here one dark and one light if you're super pro at leather working and I've been doing it for years and exacto knives and blades like that are, are something you're used to then go ahead and use those but if not I, I really recommend a pair of good leather shears um, it's just way safer and you have much more control especially around corners Here I'm cutting out for the belt loop for the back and I'm also getting the uh, other pieces ready for glue up. I'm going to use the stitching curve here just to mark a couple lines for myself to sew on. I'm still getting used to the sewing machine so I'm trying to make it a little easier on myself. Here I'll take the barge cement and glue everything up and then stick it together. I'm not going to be sewing the ends closed here. The reason for that is when I actually glue the two pieces together, I'll actually have a good single solid line to go through um, to connect the top and bottom pieces. And the homemade maker's mark. Apparently I didn't show sewing the two pieces together. It was fairly simple though, just, you know, once I glued it together, just sew it.
after putting you through all that tooling, I'm going to uh, go ahead and apply some neat oil to this thing. Now, as you probably noticed in some of my videos, I use the uh, burnishing tool in a lot of different ways. Um, I'm basically using the groove here to uh, straighten up some of the lines and stuff and flatten some things down. And then I'll put a little bit of leather sheen on. Um, kind of depending on how much neat swirl you put on and how many coats you put on, it'll get real dark on your leather. If you just put one light coat on, it'll keep it nice and light. Um, he wanted a, a, a real nice and light one to match the handle on this. And I also made a darker uh, version of this same sheath for him as well. 